Hello, my name is Swara. Denver Meditation Center is an online interfaith temple, cultivating love and exploring spiritual practices. We offer ourselves in humility and strength to all that is sacred in these precious moments. Quiet, personal, meaningful, and transformative. Please guide us as we go within to increase our awareness. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Denver Flood and Fire. Please be sure to go to the comments for links to other events that Denver Meditation Center endorses. Anything from ecstatic dance, online or in-person experiences, to devotional singing, retreats, seminars, workshops, and I'll always be sure to let you know when I'm hosting a retreat or an event. And if I'm participating in an event, I'll also invite you to those as well. No more, most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace, I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no Living in a lie I can't Boy, I had to cut ties to settle the score I ain't gonna live like this no more I'ma get on my feet, get on my chores, get some things from the getting store. This old ship's coming back to shore, cause I ain't gonna live like this no more. Welcome to Wake Up and Dance, an explanation of the energy fields we tap into in this powerful meditation practice and the different ways we can move our body to facilitate the many different frequencies of spiritual energy. We open by raising our hands above our head, palms together 
bringing our hands down to heart center. Moving back up to above our heads, the point of individualism where we connect to spirit. Back down to our hearts and back and forth as we connect to spirit in our hearts. In sacred geometry, the Taurus represents the flow of energy, the interconnectedness of all things, and the balance between the physical and spiritual realms. It's a symbol of the continuous cycle of creation, destruction, birth, and death, and the eternal nature of existence. So we move in every which different directions, contracting, expanding, cyclical, circles, portals. Next, we also work with our auric field. Our aura is the electromagnetic field that emanates from our body. Generally speaking, our arc field extends two feet from our body, from top to bottom, front to back, and side to side. Visualize a warm golden light that permeates our arc field as we expand our field into a wide open and expansive womb. From here, we invite Divine Presence to fill our auric field to protect us and envelop us in all that is benevolent and sacred. In meditation, we activate our energy centers, also known as chakras, cleaning out any stuck or unwanted negative vibrational states of being. We contain thousands of chakra centers throughout our bodies, and we invite spirit to open up our seven main chakras. Placing our hands on the top of our heads, we activate our divine consciousness through the crown chakra and activate our inner and outer beauty and spiritual connection. Moving down to our third eye chakra, we place our hands on our forehead to illuminate our clairvoyance, intuition, imagination, and wisdom. Moving further down to our throat chakra, we open our communication center and ask that our words be filled with divine truth and that our self-expression be in alignment with our highest purpose. Moving down to the center of our chest, we activate our heart chakra, where our spiritual and material energy centers connect and how we connect with others in an activated state of love, joy, and inner peace. Moving down to our upper abdomen, above our navel, we activate our solar plexus, the energy center of our self-worth, confidence, and self-esteem. If you need more confidence, focus on opening and expanding this region in your meditation. Moving our hands below the navel, we enter into the sacral chakra, where we find the center of our womb energy and how to relate to our emotions. This is also the center of our creativity and sexuality. Moving down to the root chakra located at the base of our spine, we visualize roots extending down our legs into earth as we connect to our material reality in physical form and the root to our vitality of life. 
In meditation, we also tap into the kundalini energy, which moves up and down the spine. I like to call it my kalindini energy because she is the one who taught me how to connect to transformational energy in meditation. Falling into the music, we are guided to realms within that are vastly beyond our mind's capacity to comprehend. We move our physical, emotional, and energy bodies to release unwanted energies and to be filled with guidance and wisdoms from God. Benevolent Spirit, source of love and highest intelligence. Through embodied prayer, we connect to the essence of who we are beyond material manifestation. Feel free to watch and learn by observing in an open, receptive state of being. Jump in and start moving when the urge pulls you out on the dance floor, or simply witness in a judge-free state of mind. If a musical track comes on that you have a hard time connecting to, consider it an opportunity to move past whatever is blocking you from flowing with whatever shows up in this sacred space.